welcome back to Attingham Park and leaving off where leaving off, starting off where we finished last time we need to collect up these silage bales so it didn't come mentioned in the last video um, in the current version of Maze Plus there is a little bit of a size discrepancy between these bales fermented versus unfermented that's fixed in an update to Maze Plus which should be out soon hopefully um, so I'm probably gonna have to do a little bit of messing around to make sure that I don't have that. I think I'll just take the hit actually. Um, basically the uh, the unwrapped, unfermented bales are going to go down to the 500 litres of the wrapped, fermented bales. So I'm going to lose a bit of silage, but not the end of the world really. Um, but I have currently the Bailey trailer set to stack quite high because we were moving a lot of bales around and it made it a bit easier yes it's a bit cheaty but you know it's fine uh, so these are going to go up to near the sheep enclosure because that's what I've made them for obviously being 500 liters each they're pretty good because the trough is quite small so that's why we've made them um, and that's what I think these bales are really good for. Um, you know, feeding animals in smaller enclosures where, you know, you still need to put in all of the different feed types if you're not making TMR. And you can't st stick one 8,000 litre bale in the trigger and leave it there unless you're cheating and using conditioned grass for things, I guess. I won't judge you for that, honest, Cartech. Um, so yeah, up by the little sheep area, we don't spend a lot of time up here. Um, we are slowly collecting a whole load of wool that at some point we should sell. Um, I've just kind of been moving it out of the way for now, uh, you know. Um, I was a bit lazy. I didn't grab the pallet, the bale forks. So we have pallet forks on here. And uh, I learned something about universal auto load here. Um, because I'd put the trailer into bale collecting mode and I had forgotten to take it out of bale collecting mode so the bales don't actually exist at the moment um, I think every other time that I've loaded bales on here I've manually used the um, the shift R to load the bale bale loading mode seems much better so maybe I'll use that in future but you have to then remember to turn it off for the bales to become real so Control left shift R. Oh, come on, there we go. The bales exist. So yeah, that was a uh, a bit of an ID 10T problem there. Um, I was a bit nervous as to whether the the telehandler would pick the bales this far, um, but it seems fine. It seems to handle them just fine. Uh, I'm going to apologise now because I've just remembered. Um, if you can hear hammering in the background, it's the house next door being renovated still. Um, it's been going on for two weeks pretty much solidly and I can't record around it all the time. So yeah, um, hopefully it's not too loud, but if it is, I'm sorry and I'll see what I can do in the edit. Um, so we're gonna stack these here. These are gonna be for winter feed really because the grazing does enough to keep the sheep fed for the rest of the year. Though I have stupidly not got my notes up for today's video, which was a little bit silly of me. Um, so the other things that we're looking at doing today are some more bee pulp silage bales. So we're gonna break out the multi-wrapper again, or multi-baler. Um, and we're gonna put in a sugar mill later on. We have a lot of sugar beets, obviously, and uh, just out Adam has the sugar mill with byproducts, um, which is going to get us some molasses and things like that, which is cool, and some beet pulp. It's always useful um, when you're running a larger animal farm. So, yep, I'm going to stick that in later on as well. Um, and I'm going to make use of the Platinum DLC on here. Yay, Platinum DLC! Um, but I'll save that one as a surprise for later. Are we going to do some logging, do you think? Um, you might have seen the thumbnail, actually. Maybe the surprise isn't there. Damn it. Maybe we're going to do logging. Um, so we're in a bit of a lull period, actually, on the farm. We need to wait for crops to be ready to harvest and the grass to grow. So actually, I might have to skip ahead to July for the next video. 
Um, but I think that's a way off, actually, because... Uh, actually, no. This week's not too bad. Uh, I'm trying to plan ahead with videos as well. And uh, I, this week there hasn't been as many Let's Plays, I don't think, because I've had more tutorials planned. But, but a couple for next week, depending on when the update to Maze Plus comes out. Um, that will obviously prompt a video to talk you through what's changed. Um, but I'm also hanging on for that to come out before I do the before I start the most profitable animals with Maze Plus edition. Um, so because things might change and it would be a waste of my time if they did. So um, yeah, but still planning to do most profitable animals Maze Plus chickens first. So we'll have a look at that. Maybe this week. Maybe not. Um, okay, so into the store and we're going to lease the Ottinger Impress Multibaler Plus. This is the Maze Plus edition that is on DSA's Discord. It is not the edition on ModHub. If you're using Maze Plus and you want to do things like beat pulp bales or TMR bales, get the version off of DSA's Discord. Cool? Cool. Um, so we're going to lease that and we're going to lease the uh, Anderson around bale stacker. So those of you that are spotting the cursor offset, this should go away this week. Um, thanks to the patrons and the YouTube channel members. Let's get that done as well. I'm going to say thank you to the patrons, including you, Jay, because you get that as part of the tier that you're at is the senior disturbing tier um and all the rest of the patrons as well i really appreciate all of you guys supporting the channel um i hope you are enjoying the furling series on there all of you um and all the youtube channel members as well um you know appreciate you all too and thanks to you guys and the people that watch the videos obviously um on top of the recent computer upgrade i now have well i will have thanks to that and black friday a uh an msi um 1440p monitor coming that means so although the videos upload in um 4k they're recorded in 1080p and upscaled in the render because youtube likes higher resolution um for the encoding and re redistributing and stuff my laptop can record in 1440p because it's got a 1440p screen but when I play on desktop, I don't. So rather than switching around and getting things messed up, I play on 1080p. That means when I record, because OBS does some weird scaling of cursor position for screen position and stuff, the cursor's always out of place. Once I get the new monitor put in, I will be able to record in 1440p and then upscale to 4K. So less upscaling. You might not notice a difference apart from the cursor position, but I get to look at a nicer picture when I play the game. So thanks everyone for watching and being channel members and patrons and stuff so what are we up to now we are making beet pulp signage bales so um we have the multi baler under the beet pulp buy point that's part of maze plus i've done this once already in a video so i don't think we're going to hang around on it too much um it's the first time i've done it since the repricing of products as part of the last update to Maze Plus, and it's costing me about £800 of bale. But I don't think that's too bad. Um, they're pretty big bales, and I like using them as a reasonable component of the feed. Um, it just adds a bit of variety in there. Damn it. Every time I forget to turn my mobile phone onto silent. It was, you know what's weird? Most of the time, it's on silent. Most of the time, I don't have the sound on because it bugs me. But Mrs. D is away, and so I was looking, listening out for messages from her. Because you don't want to miss messages from your significant other. That's bad. So first trailer load. Well, I think last time I did this, I only made one trailer load. But I liked using them in the feed mix. So I'm going to make two trailer loads. And it'll last us a bit longer. We're probably going to get through a couple of these a day, I would think now. Um, so, yeah, going to make 48 bales. It's going to last us a reasonable amount of time. We might actually get through more. I don't know. Um, right, we'll see how the feeding goes and how, you know, I'm, I'm 
we've had our first set of calves and I'm confident we can feed them. I'm actually wondering whether it's time to buy a few more cows, grow things a bit more. I don't actually do it in this video, but it has occurred to me that I think we can probably do that. Um, we're in a pretty good position feed wise. So um, yeah, is it just me? Is this damn thing impossible to unload without bales going all over the place? Um, I didn't have this problem in FS19. In FS22, almost every time I unload it, something goes a bit funny. Like that. Those two bales that just popped out at the end. Um, drives me slightly nuts so yeah i don't know what i'm doing wrong unloading that but yeah it's annoying um, have noticed there are some potentially nice grass fields to buy up here around this was the bga if you're familiar with attingham but i ripped that out because we have our own two bgas now which i'm not really using at the moment on here um if i was really keen on pushing making money i would be but i'm not Actually, that reminds me, since I haven't revisited since the pumps and hoses update, the, the BGAs, and are they working properly now? So, if you're using them, comment below, because comments are good. Um, and I think I need to revisit that, because if they are working, I can do my video on the finances of the modular BGA. Um, the other thing, this is the first video that I've done, I think, since the, uh, the trailer released. Um, I posted it on my channel. If you follow Scroft, you will have seen it. The, uh, the new animals we are bringing to Terra Life. Um, so we, I'm trying to remember what was actually in the video because um, obviously I know more than was in the video. Um, we're looking at ducks, goats, rabbits, um, bowls to go with your horses, piglets, lambs, proper bulls without those things that really annoys the alien pool calves um there are going to be a few more as well hopefully um oxy is doing an awesome job of implementing those for us in to uh calmsden at the moment and they will be part of the calmsden streams when we restart still not sure when that's going to be um but when they restart they're going to be part of the streaming that we do on calmsden so if you want to get a sneak peek in a bit more detail on how those animals are going to work tune into the streams watch my so i'm planning to record my side of the streaming and i'll then edit that into some sort of video it's probably still going to be pretty long but uh, yeah if you want to get a, a a heads up as to how those are going to work um check out the streams when we restart them scroft did a great job with the preview um some of you might wonder why Scroft did it and why I didn't do it. One, he's way better at making pretty videos than I am, you know. I I, I am not a pretty video guy. I am a facts guy. Um, not saying that Scroft isn't a facts guy, but he makes pretty videos, um, you know. Two, he has a much bigger viewer base than I do, and it was a really good way of previewing the content. And three, he and Oxy are friends, and Oxy's doing the implementation, so, you know. And Scroft is is getting back involved with farming agency again more closely, so, yeah. Um, it made sense for him to do that, in my mind. So, if you're a fan of my channel, stick around. We'll be streaming this stuff. Well, Paul will be streaming, I'll be recording. So, yeah. Um, yeah, really excited for those new animal types to come into the game. So... That's the 48 bales made. I think it cost us about 15,000 pounds. That seems lower than I expected. Um, I might have had my 800 pounds per bale wrong. That might have been for two bales, actually. So it may be closer to just under 400 a bale. Um, I'm not doing maths live. We never do maths live. So, yeah. But that, that's got us a nice supplementary feed boost let's ignore the fact that i've got the baler stuck under the silo okay the store are going to come and pick it up for us it's fine absolutely fine they are probably much better at driving tractors than i am so we are going to get these bales back to the farm and stack them we'll see just how badly 
the um, the trailer implodes as I unload these ones. With luck, it won't be too messy. So yeah, it's just going to give us a nice stock of food. Um, something else that has come up, I'm going to add it to the PDF for Maze Plus, is making maze slides because a lot of people seem to think you need to use the multi baler, that multi baler, to make maze slides. You don't. I don't think I've shown it yet, but the way I did it in FS19 and in bits of FS22 that maybe haven't been on camera is using a trailer with a grain door. I lay out a swath. Um, the proper way to do it is um, tipping it maybe into a, an open-ended bunker silo and then driving through the bunker silo with a baler, with a wrapper. Um, it's, mm, sort of better, maybe not. Um, so traditionally you would make round maze silage bales um, so platinum dlc time we'll come back to that yeah we're, we're going full platinum dlc we're going to buy ourselves a big wheel loader um so we ha I have a lot of loose maze silage and i spotted that there's a 10,000 liter bucket in the dlc so we're going to get ourselves a big old wheel loader um so I go for originally the smaller of the two, so just over a quarter of a million pounds, um, because it says that we can use the 10,000. I guess it says the model number of the vehicle there. That should have given it away to me, shouldn't it? That should have been the giveaway. Um, but there's a 10,000 litre high tip bucket, which I thought would be really cool for loading up the feed wagon. Um, hindsight's kicking in and I'm realizing that it, the game told me already that this bucket will not work on this wheel loader. Spoiler alert. So, because we've got plenty of cash in the bank and this game is not about, this save is not about money, we are going to sell that instantly and buy the bigger one. Yay, Platinum DLC. Let's get this lo no no logging, no logging yet. I'm sorry. Um if you're here for the logging, stick around, there'll be some on Maypole in the winter, probably. Um because I do actually want to do some logging on there. There are some nice little spots to do logging. We might even use some of the platinum DLC kit. Um I don't know. Well, we are going to use Platinum DLC to get on there because I'm going to buy the little Volvo wheel loader. Yay, Team Volvo. I never thought I'd be so excited to drive a Volvo. To be honest, this is a nice bit of kit. And for doing big feed mixes with big amounts of silage, this bucket's cool. Um, when we come around to making fresh silage, once I've actually got this clamp empty, you know we are going to be trying this out with course play. Um, Hopefully you caught my tutorial video on course plate and bunker silos. If you didn't, go watch it. They have added um, silo leveling and compaction into course plate, and it is awesome. They have done a really good job. It's so much better than FS19 in my mind. You basically don't even have to set any points on the ground if you don't want to. Course plate pretty much automatically detecting the... Uh, bunker silo as long as you tell it roughly where it is and it does great um, downside of using this dlc bucket is i can't turn off the leveling function like i can with a modded one so we do get that dumping of excess silage as we back out of the clamp yep, like that not a problem this, this wheel loader is big enough that it can pick up almost anything i think um, it would be interesting to see what this could do with some pallet forks on it or some logging forks um, or a bale spike. I, I suspect people will be making um, really big, big, big implements for use with this loader um, as mods in the near future. I can't see people not doing it unless everything at the moment in the dlc is locked obviously because it's a paid dlc and why would you want your modders to make use of any of the stuff that's in there um, but hopefully people can get around things like understanding how the attaches work and stuff because 
it'd be really cool to have some modded buckets for this thing. You could get really big, I think, without it being an issue. Maybe if you are a fan of best farm sim mods, they might appear on there, but I won't be using them. So. But that's put about 30,000 litres of silage in the mixer, or made silage in the mixer, so we now need something that can do... Um, we're going to put some beet pulp in and probably some bales of some sort. Um, so I think I jump in the JCB. I really like this as a load of tractor. It's, um, you know, four-wheel steer, quick. Not that we're really using the speed, but yeah, it's a nice load of tractor. It really makes me think how underrated the, the Lin track is. I think it's the Lin track. It was part of the Alpine DLC in FS19, part of base game in FS22, and it's a small four-wheel steer tractor that you can put a front wheel load, a front loader on. And uh, yeah, I'm really thinking about you. It was one of the tractors that I was really considering on Frirling. Um, I used it on Frirling for some contract work, and it worked really well. So yeah, I think we might be seeing that at some point in one of my Let's Plays. Um, so I'm going to stick in some, obviously, some cut beets. Um, and then I think I do some grass silage and some uh, some grain mix. Or maybe do some grain mix first. Who knows? You know, I should. I played this, but it was a few days ago. So I, I'm still really, really busy at work. And uh, I'm trying to get a little bit ahead today. Um, not as ahead as I had hoped, because I had hoped to have Monday and Tuesday's videos done. I only have Mondays done. Well, I have Tuesdays recorded, but not edited, and that means I'm not going to get the commentary recorded before Mrs. D gets back. And uh, having barely seen her this week, I'd rather spend the time with her than talking to myself, frankly. Uh, or sec through secondhand talking to you. Either way, um, yeah... I was away last week from Sunday afternoon until Tuesday night. Um, and then she's been away since Friday evening to Saturday evening. So it would be nice to actually see each other for a little while. So when she gets home, I won't be doing this. So we're going to grab the bale spike now and then we'll put in some bales of stuff. I think I do one grass silage bale because one bale is enough to count as a vine mix. And then some straw, I think, because we've got a lot of straw or maybe a bit of hay. I can't remember which. Um, talking about valid mixes, um, to get, again, it's cropped up. I think it was on the Maze Plus Discord. Um, you don't need to have each of the four types of, you know, protein or power food moisture food silage and roughage in the mix for it to count to fill all the bars um, someone was asking if they needed to put filtered water in i think so that it would count towards the moisture bar um, as long as it says tmr like that any of the tmrs they will fit uh, and you haven't edited it so they don't they will contribute towards all four bars so yeah, you, you, with the realistic mix on here, you can just do maize silage and grass silage and you will have a complete food to feed your cows. Um, it isn't, you know, it doesn't have, it's funny, the realistic mix is the simplest mix to meet the minimums. Because the minimums are just grass silage and maize silage at the moment. I haven't seen what Paul has done with the updates to Maze Plus. Um, who knows what that evil genius will have got up to. And so just gonna put a little bit of hay in just to uh, add a bit of variety. There we go. And I think I might go and put some molasses in as well. But the rest of that, that hay bale will go in the next mix because I'm doing two mixes a day pretty much on here. Um, actually, I'm in one of those weird phases at the moment where um, particularly lately because I've had a lot of other videos I've been doing and going to three let's plays isn't helping to be honest it feels like oh sorry Mr. Cow it feels like a long time between when I play on the different maps at the moment um, it was really not when 
when I was just doing Maypole it was really nice because everything was like you know just play on that save and progress was quick and uh, I didn't forget between videos what we were doing and all that kind of thing but you know I recorded this on a Thursday evening it might be Wednesday of next week before I play on here again you know um, I've just finished recording um, tomorrow's Maypole video on a Saturday afternoon um, I've got a tutorial I want to do next and then a Greenlands video and then I'll be back on Atium so yeah it's uh, it's entirely possible because I don't play every day at the moment because work and things are really busy so you know I'm, I'm out a lot with work and stuff so yeah I'm at the moment I'm not playing video games every day which is unusual for me for the last quite a while it's been a long time where I have played video games every day and uh, at the moment I'm not so and traveling is usually a great opportunity for me to record um, but the last few trips away the uh, the the work day has been brutal and when the work day is finished generally I will stick a film on and collapse and snooze in the hotel so rather than sitting in what I quite often plan and intend to do which is like record two videos in an evening but you know just not happening at the moment a bit of a bit of self-preservation I guess and uh, it's not a phrase that I'm a fan of but I guess the closest I can say is being kind to myself a bit bit corny but you know so is it is what I'm doing so last job for this video is that um, sugar mill that I mentioned so this is by Just That Adam it is the sugar mill with byproducts um, and we're going to be putting some sugar beet in and out of that we will get sugar we will get beet pulp and we will get molasses so the sugar will sell I guess the beet pulp and molasses we will use to feed so going to head over to the uh, the old BGA site where we have the two the three doika silos um, because I don't really want this on the farm it's a bit big and industrial that's not a slight on just that Adam he used the base game sugar mill which is kind of like a factory so this feels like a good spot to me to put it out of the way um, so it's on mod hub go download it and rate it five stars because it's pretty good um, so there it is I am going to go for the cheaty version there is a normal version and there is a cheaty version and I'm going to use the cheaty one um, so I have a a little bit of a problem with this once I've placed it um, I'm not sure where the trigger is and yay I got another achievement um, yeah so I, I got completely disoriented and uh, I have this on Greenlands without the byproducts. Actually, I should put that on Greenlands with the byproducts because that'd be really useful. Um, and I was sure that the trigger was down here because with the way that I've got it placed on Greenlands, it feels like it's here, but it's not. So if, if your eyes are a bit delicate, I'd look away in a minute because things are going to get a little bit psychedelic. I'm so close to the trigger there. But no, we go this way. Um, I'm not sure why I'm looking in here, but this gives you an idea of the recipe. So for 60 litres of sugar beets, you get 40, 20. I can't remember what the other one is. But yeah, I've put on the all the trigger markers. So let's say a little bit psychedelic. I do apologise to your eyes for this. Um, but basically I'm looking for the trigger because I don't know where it is uh, you probably do I do now I didn't when I was doing this um, so yeah sorry about the uh, the horrendous flashing lines and stuff um, and the equally horrendous reversing it's not like I don't have the space to do this nicely or like Lou Brown or anything no no we try and do a really bad job of reversing instead now i think and do it the easy slightly longer way but yeah these pulsing lines are probably awful on most people's eyes um, 
but there is the trigger yay um, so we can get these tipped in and get the factory going so that will be kind of cool so yeah we get 40 20 50 so we get 50, 20 liters of molasses and 50 liters of beet pulp along with our 40 liters of sugar per 60 liters of sugar beet seems pretty generous but it is the cheaty one so um, that's it for today folks i am going to say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you did click the like button if you don't smash the like buttons if you smash it you have to buy me a coffee comments questions or suggestions below and if you're new to the channel and you aren't already think about subscribing and turn on notifications just speeding up some time so we can see some of the products spawn and there we go sugar and molasses um i think the beet pulp comes out of the um pipe that was next to the tip point bye for now